Definitely agree. It's just not practical to have that little tiny. Oh, and they attack them again. Shut down fairly quickly. Uh, we got a hunter and a a smoker trying to pull from behind. Not incredibly effective, but I mean, he was probably just trying to get coordinated with the spawns of everybody else. And you know what's up? Yeah, that was a zero damage attack. Uh, this crescendo. This crescendo. A lot of teams like pushing it back to where Blight is actually going right now. I personally hate it. I think it gives the infected way too many spawn points. And then you have a long fight to make it to the entrance to the gate. Up ahead, where's your, where's your spawn? Oh, excellent dead stop by Nugget. Boomer coming in, Spitter going in, and the Jockey. Minimal damage, and they should be able to push to the gate. No problem now. What do you think about that reflex? Yeah, I like to take it over by the ticket booth area where Shido started. I think that if you allow the infected a chance to get a big giant damage pound on you, the effects can really be devastating. But it looks like uh, they didn't let that happen with that excellent death stop. Now we have a hunter coming in and a spitter. Survivors are completely common locked, and they took a really large amount of damage off of that spear. That was a fantastic attack, courtesy of VVV right there. Upwards of 100 damage, if not more. Two people still boom, they're fighting their way to the safe room. Basic was able to give an IS pill, so they should be able to make it in. They have their work cut out for them, though. They have a lot of damage to catch up on. With a very difficult tank to play on this Come map. On. Keep it up, keep it up. You gonna make it? VVV leaving the safe room. Uh, going for an immediate attack. The Boomer cannot find us. Oh, Boomer just found his spawn. Whiff, though. And very, very little damage coming in. I think uh, the Jockey probably got about two, uh, two tugs on Rochelle's hair there. Other than that, it was a very, very well shut down attack courtesy of VVV. I agree. I couldn't help but be cheering on that Boomer. He got that good spawn in. He was puking so hard, but the survivors were just inches away. He so close to getting three at least, but only counts the horseshoes, you know. Tech coming in. The spitter was way too late there, though. But it looks like Josh got caught in the spit by that jockey. So I'm going to assume about 25 damage from that spit. Could have been a lot more with the Charger and the Hunter pinning the same person. But you gotta you gotta take what you get with this game. Not every attack is gonna be perfect. Uh, you just gotta hope that every once in a while you will get the perfect attack so you can win. That's what separates the good players from the great players. All you can do is put your people in the right place at the right time and make it happen. Now uh, we had uh, a 11 damage pounce, very good pounce, and now we're coming in with the Jockey and Boomer, getting two people boomed. Not gonna be able to do very much on this. They're inside, safe. The tank is spawning in. Guns right here. What's the strat for Blight now on this person? Reload. The strat uh, that I, I like to say, pray that you can get a Boomer in there. Because that tank is going to he has so much work to do and not very much time to do it. He's gonna get mollied the second he walks in that door and then have a bunch of AK-47 and auto shotguns coming in at him. If this tank gets one in cap I will be extremely impressed.
but it looks like he's going to have zero support for this. So if this tank gets two punches off, I'm going to be very happy. Show me what you got, Nugget. It looks like he's got his boomer friend in there, but I don't know if he's going to be able to make anything happen. He he's, looks like he's going to try and keep his rage up, but the VVB team is kind of dodging. They know that he's got to come in, and it's really VVB's game right here that that tank is trying to play. Tank gets lit, and it is over. This tank, sh if the only way he's doing any damage is with a rock, and he destroyed that pillar. That pillar will not be getting up feeling comfortable in the morning, but the tank, as I said, got very, very shut down and did not land any damage. VVV looking excellent, playing like they would in Left 4 Dead 1, just showing everyone what they got and how good they can do it. Very great work by VVV right there. Smoker going for a pullback. Unfortunately, it was far too late, and Nick was able to get cleared very quickly. Yeah, once again, it's uh, another place that they can get quite a bit of damage. Not quite a death pull there, but quite a bit of potential damage on that Smoker, but a little bit late. It looks like the Boomer's trying to find a spawn, but this is... There aren't very many spawns that aren't the roof, and he will get picked the second he spawns up there. Because, let's face it, Fat Boy is really noisy. The poor guy. Charger misses. Spit goes in. Also misses. I completely agree with your thought on Blight being a survivor-based team, as you saw how poor that infected attack was. There was no coordination, and every infected just got shut down. Boom, we're gonna try this. Boom, but... Oh, he lands. He, he gets a boom on two, gets pecked. And... There's two booms here, and whenever they're in this tight corridor with a massive amount of... common infected spawning in, it just won't stop. That could be disastrous, even if there's just two people before. Nice skeet on Anias, courtesy of Caper there, and they should waltz into the safe room with very little damage taken. Unless this charger can pull off a tank kind of move here and encap all four people. It is definitely a tie game. Charger does get an excellent charge there and do some damage. I think it's just a case of too little, too late. Oh, well, maybe not. Coach hanging out. Coach is, is hanging out outside the spit. The door was closed right on his face. Nick was down, but looks like they might. Uh, and Jockey trying to make something happen, but like you said, too little, too late. We'll just have to see if that was somehow enough. Really doubt it.